This video is sponsored by Linker UI. Let's talk a little bit about how these work. To open the Pathfinder tool, you're going to go up to Window and scroll down until you find Pathfinder. And just by the way, these are in alphabetical order. May have been obvious to you, but it took me years to realize that for some reason. So I'm going to click and open Pathfinder, and here it is. And you'll notice there are 10 different Pathfinder icons here. And I don't know about you, but I often forget which one is which. And so I tend to keep to three of them, which solve all my problems. And I'll show you in a minute what I mean by that. But let's go through some of these. The first one I want to show you is Pathfinder Unite, which is this very first one over here. I'm going to select all of these shapes that I rotated and click on Unite. And it unites all of them into a single shape. The next one, and I'm going to start with the same shape, is Pathfinder Exclude. And you can find Exclude at the end of the top row. And it punches holes wherever those shapes overlap. So we can get two really interesting looks with the same shapes, but different Pathfinder. The next three are also very handy. We have minus front, minus back, and intersect. And apparently, I don't spell very well. So how do these work? Well, we select both shapes. And minus front is this one right here. And if I click on it, you can see that the front shape is deleted from the back shape. Minus back is down here. And it does the opposite. It deletes the back shape from the front shape. And then we have intersect, which is going to only give us the intersection of those two shapes. And intersect is right over here. Now, you'll notice it left this little piece here. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll just click intersect again. And it got rid of that second piece, but it also got rid of my color. So how can we get it back? Well, one way is to grab the eyedropper and just click on something else with that color, and it will restore. Now, it worked just now, but when I did my little practice before I recorded the demo, it didn't work. And I want to share with you why it didn't work. The default for the eyedropper does not have everything turned on. And I don't understand that. I find it kind of annoying. So what you need to do is double click on the eyedropper and make sure that appearance is checked on both of these. The default for the eyedropper looks like this with them not checked. And in that case, the eyedropper doesn't always copy what you want it to copy. So if you ever have a situation where the eyedropper is not working for you, double click on the icon and make sure that these are checked and then it will work. So just a good little tip. All right, the last one that I want to talk about is Pathfinder Divide, and it's this first one on the bottom. If you take two closed paths and select them and click Pathfinder Divide, it breaks them up into pieces. Now, if I click and try to move this, it doesn't appear that it broke them up because they are grouped together. So we need to right click, ungroup. And now we can select these pieces individually. I'll just undo to put those back. And we can give them different colors. So that's how divide work. And frankly, if I can't remember which one is which, sometimes I'll just divide and then delete the pieces I don't need to get me where I need to be. And that's, that's my workaround. Now, divide has another little trick, and it's good to know what it is. If I want to divide something that's not a closed path, but kind of something like this where I want to maybe crack an egg, so I've got a closed path and I've got an open path, I need to select both of those, and then I can do Pathfinder Divide. And you'll notice that the part that was sticking out just went away. And that's a really nice way to work. Whenever I divide, I always make sure that the line is extended beyond my shape so that I know it's actually intersecting with the shape, but it'll disappear so it doesn't matter. 
Now, if I want to go back and select these pieces individually, I have two options because even though they're divided, they're still grouped together. So I can either use the white arrow to select the individual pieces, or you can select it, right click, and then ungroup. And honestly, this is the way I use divide every time. I select it, Pathfinder divide, right click, ungroup just as reflex. And then I can always select the different pieces and fill them with different colors. Or I can grab my rotate tool, shortcut is R, click right down there and crack my egg open. And one other thing to know about Pathfinder Divide is what happens if your open path has a fill. So this one, the open path had no fill, but now the open path does have a fill. If I select this and use Pathfinder Divide, right click, ungroup, look what happened. It treats a filled path as if it's an, uh, excuse me, a closed path. So instead of getting this nice, neat egg crack that I was looking for, I end up with a bunch of strange pieces that don't really do what I was hoping it would do. So the key to this is to make sure that the line that you use to divide an object has no fill. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.